Wagons are perfect if you want most of a crossover's capacity without all the ride height and fake bulky fender flare nonsense. But man, kind of hard to find. However, if you happen to be in this predicament and are also capable of affording a car north of $50,000, your options are limitless. And by limitless, I mean three. The Jaguar XF Sport Brake, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class Estate, and this, my favorite of the litter, the Volvo V90. It takes everything good about the S90 sedan and adds a bit more junk in the trunk, literally. First of all, it's gorgeous. I mean, look at it. Follow the unbroken character line that goes all the way across the side. Marvel at the Thor's hammer headlights that can make a lot of look like a phantom. With the racier R design package, it looks aggressive, but it's still understated enough to where people won't think you've blown your wallet apart trying to keep up with the Joneses. Second, there is a ton of storage back there. The extra space afforded by the wagon roof means I've had zero problems stuffing the hatch with enough groceries for two humans, two dogs, and two cats. This V90 is the all-wheel drive T6 model, which carries a turbocharged and supercharged four-cylinder engine, good for about 316 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. While it may not seem like much, I can guarantee you that this car provides more than enough hustle to get you past traffic, bicyclists, or whatever else you don't want to be anywhere near. But while your right foot rewards you for leaning into the throttle, the gas tank kind of shuns you from afar. The V90 is rated at 22 MPG city and 31 MPG highway. My fat right foot has thus far elicited just 20.5 MPG from the car over about a couple hundred miles. In official automotive journalist parlance, that's not ideal. We'll dive deep into the tech in a separate video, but let me just tell you that the V90 is ready to party. You got a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, Spotify embedded into the infotainment system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and, if you can spare the coin, a Bowers & Wilkins sound system that makes the car sound like you're in a freaking concert hall. And it also happens to drive itself for the most part on small stints of highway, so long as you don't mind eh, the occasional hard late braking. The V90 is generally an awesome car, but if I had to find some things to complain about, I'd probably say that the engine node isn't very good and that the transmission will occasionally feel rough when it's upshifting or downshifting. And while the air suspension is pretty good, it's only out back, and if you have thin profile tires on all four corners, the ride's still gonna be kinda stiff. Look. If you need the extra seats of a three-row vehicle or you really, truly enjoy the additional pointless ride height, I'm not gonna shame you for buying a crossover. I just want you, John and Jane Q Public, to know that there's another option, something that's quirkier and fun, taking the best parts of a sedan and grafting on the best part of a crossover. But you'll have to pay the piper. As tested, this V90 costs a staggering $68,290, and they're only available as custom orders from the factory because dealer stock is riddled with V90 cross-country models. Now, those are about the same as this, but they're higher, and they have some silly cladding around the wheels. The V90 impressed me with its good looks, solid driving dynamics, and its thorough complement of tech. And if you take a spin in one at the dealer, even if it's the cross-country, I imagine it'll impress you too.